Well, no doubt we can all kind of get into our rut when it comes to food. Sometimes we find ourselves eating the same things because it's easy or convenient. Joining us this morning to walk us through a new and tasty meal idea is Chef Kieran Hales with Zingerman's Cornman Farms. Wonderful to see you again. Nice to see you again. I was just telling him the soup he made last time he was here. People are still talking about it because it was that delicious. Awesome. Love that. And we are <laughs> looking forward to what you're doing for us today. What are you making? So we're going to be making a traditional English pie and mash. So we're going to walk through the process of making the dough, how to fill it, how we bake it. But this is something we do out of the farm every Sunday for about six weeks at this time of the year. So it's been really successful. So like 250 of them in like three or four hours. It's super fast, goes really well out wow. there for us. Wow. Okay. So show us how to put this together. Right. So one of the interesting things is, so we've got this beautiful flour uh, from the uh, bakehouse. So one of our sister businesses is freshly grinding mill flour for us. So we've got some spelt flour in there, some soft white, and then we actually freeze the butter and then grate it into it. Okay. Then we'll flake that into the uh, flour itself, add iced water to it, and then what it'll end up forming is a dough that's got those large chunks of butter in there. So what gotcha. it means is when it bakes, all that butter melts away, creates a really flaky, crisp dough, wow. which you'll get to appreciate in a hot second. Yes, trust me, I'm, I'm, I'm eyeing that. <laughs> but so, so that's why it's a good idea to, to freeze and grate yeah, like yeah. that. And so for us with the pie crust, one of the interesting things, this was uh, poor people's food in London. So there's all these pie and mash shops around London. And what they actually did was they'd make do with all that they had. So actually the mold we use to line our pie rings is our vinegar bottle we use oh, for it. Nice. So we'll roll out the dough. We've got these lovely handy dandy guides. We use this with all the staff, just so you get your thickness correct you're rolling out the dough ah. so it defines the circle and the thickness that just can't go any thinner Got and what it. you okay. take is you take the vinegar bottle mm -hmm. you tuck the dough over the top and you literally just pull it and then you're going to tuck that guy oh, right inside in and so once you've done that you take off the excess okay and then we'll be filling it with the filling so this is our chicken tikka masala mix ah. takes about seven days to make so not something for a quick tv demo <laughs> as far as <laughs> yes, it goes yes. but this got all the great flavors in it and for us as brits Indian food is probably more popular than even yes, fish and chips for us. I know. There's so my a people lot. love all of that game. Oh so then we're God. gonna place the lid on, gonna crimp the top, and then we'll seal her all up. And then what we do is we bake it for about 45 minutes uh, at about 375. It'll look mm -hmm. like this when she goes in the oven. When it comes out, it'll be this. And so oh the goodness. odd thing that you've got there for you to try is something called uh, parsley liquor sauce. Okay. And so back in the day, they would make this beautiful parsley there. garlic sauce that goes over it. It's really fantastic. Oh, wow. I'm going to so, get in there as well. Okay, <laughs> let, let's share. Let's yeah. share. So, but this is something, I mean, you guys have all kinds of fillings that you put in this. Yeah, so the first week uh, we did this beautiful burgundy beef. Uh, we did a le leek and tarragon and we did a steak and a stilton, which is the one I've got over here for everyone else in the team to have a taste nice. of. But we've got two more coming after the chicken tikka this weekend. We've got beautiful uh, bacon and hominy and a pea and ham. We're also doing a vegetarian chestnut and mushroom one as well. So oh, lots wow. of good stuff in Delicious. there for us. Delicious. So savory, savory, savory pies. pies. Yeah. And tell us about your pop up shop while I give this. Yeah. So the pop up shop is every single Sunday. It starts at 430 to 7 every Sunday. So I get to disappear from my two little kids pretty successfully. Mm. So I've got a four year old who turns four today. So it's his birthday today, which is kind of cool. Oh, very so I nice. To, I get to disappear from him while they're being trouble for mom and I can be here. <laughs> oh, for a little, yeah, yep. Poor mom. Right? Yeah, poor mom in the oh game. Oh my gosh. Karen, that is delicious. Yeah. It's so flaky and light. In there, and then. the flavors of that chicken, mm -hmm. incredible, incredible. Thank you. And so when they go to that pop-up shop, they can experience what? Yeah, so you'll get the pie and the mash. It'll actually come exactly like this in a box for us. So you mm -hmm. get the mash, the vegetable, the, uh, the gravy in there as well. And then you get a piece of fudge for us, which is like the sweet treat. Seriously, like one of these is enough for two people. Once you eat it, you're going to want to eat the whole thing by yourself. I was just going to say, you can say two people, but I want yeah, it yeah. all for You'd myself. Be... Tell us where you guys are located and where you can find out more so information. So we're in Dexter, which is probably about 50 minutes from uh, uh, Detroit for us on a regular basis. And so for us, uh, we're at 4.30 till 7, and it's going to be in Dexter. So if you look us up, it's going to be www.zingmanscormanfarms forward slash pie mash. You can get us booked up. Well, we love having you. Thank you for coming in. Yeah. We'll make sure the recipe is on our website, wxyz.com. Just check the scene on 7 section.